What is going on guys, Matt here this morning for you. It's bright and early, it's about 6 a.m. I've just finished my morning run. As you can tell by the title, this video is about how to start to enjoy running and how you can too. I'm gonna break it down in just five easy steps for you. So no matter if you're a beginner, if you're an absolute noob to running, you can't, you can't even do a 5K, you can't even do a mile without stopping. These tips will definitely be beneficial for you. But if you're a pro and you just wanna hear my opinion, make sure to stay tuned on various little bits that I've put into my running routine that really helped me progress. Definitely wanna stay tuned for number five because that was the absolute biggest game change for me so make sure to watch the end for that one all right let's get on with step number one make sure you start off slow right running is extremely overwhelming you see all these people breaking all these record times you see people out and about just doing 10k is like it's nothing when i was a beginner going into it i would always really struggle to find my pace find a comfortable level that i'm running at because when I used to go on runs, I used to absolutely cane it to the point of just absolutely gassing myself out, absolutely hating it. And that's where a little quote, I think it was on TikTok actually, it was run slower to go faster. So it's getting more runs in at a slower pace in order to then be a faster runner. I implemented that way of like, way of running and it, it was a game changer for me. I was able to go on a run and actually enjoy it and not be fully gassed out. Obviously some days I go, you know, I go hard and make sure that it's a really strenuous run, but most days I'm at a comfortable pace where I can probably have a conversation with someone if they were running by me. Yeah, so make sure to start off slow right just get your first couple of miles in doesn't matter what pace you're going at trust me with running your endurance builds up so quick i've noticed that from just running over like the past six months i'm able to like get a decent timing now for a 5k you know i can run without completely gassing myself out and i'm just massively enjoying it more and if you're an absolute novice runner you've never run before highly recommend something called couch to 5k i'll pop it on the screen now essentially it's just running for absolute beginners whether you've come back from an injury whether you're just trying to get into fitness a bit more whether you want to start running this is something that i'd highly recommend i didn't do it personally because i could, could run 5k comfortably without you know sort of needing that training but for some people that are at the absolute start there's no shame in that and doing a couch to 5k will massively help you essentially it's couch to 5 5K, you know, it's from being sat on your ass, sat on your ass on the sofa to being able to run a 5k. I've had a couple of friends that have done it and you can you can find out local clubs that do it in big groups, but if you just want to do it by yourself, that's fine as well. Well, that'll nicely introduce you to running and get you up to doing a 5k. So step number one, start off slow. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And I suppose that can be said for everything in life, whether it be gym, business, anything like that, you've got to start off slow. You've got to get the foundation blocks in place. If you go too quick, you're just going to end up crashing and burning. So step one, start off slow. Okay, step two is planning your route properly. Also, can we just pause for a minute and just, just look at this? Look at this. Off topic, but I really want to play golf right now. But anyway, back to the focus of the video, which is running. Step two, planning your route properly. I use an app called Route Planner. Essentially, you can literally just draw on a map exactly where you want to go. It will tell you the distance, the elevation, you know, you can look out for hills, all that kind of stuff. But this is something that I found massively beneficial. It just makes you run a lot easier because you're not coming to an unexpected hill. You know, you, you can actually measure the distance. Because when I started running, I used to cut corners. I'm going to hold my hands up and say that I did. I used to cut corners and used to like, you know, if I didn't plan out my route and I would just like, oh, I said I'm going for like a 5k run, I'd end up probably cutting it short and heading home most of the time. So make sure you plan your route out so then you've got it in your head and then you're accountable for making that mileage. I also used to just avoid the hills as well. So I'd be like, fuck this, I'm walking up it. But now it's like, you know, I can, I tend to try and plan my routes out where they're as flat as possible, just because it's a lot easier on your legs. Obviously there's gonna be hills, ups and downs, but you know, planning it out. If you have to, like what I've done this morning, I've, dri I've driven somewhere five minutes up the road because I know there's a nice route around here for me to run on. Whereas where I live, it's super hilly. So I don't tend to run around there. It's just stuff like that, you know, it takes five minutes to get in your car. You can plan your route out properly. You've got a nice, 5k in your head or something and then you can go ahead and do it but yeah highly recommend route planner i use it to this day okay moving on to step number three this is getting the right running gear before i got into running i wanted to make sure i had the right gear because previously i was running in a busted pair of ultra boots which i'll show on the screen now i've had them for about seven years they're absolutely wrecked so i decided to upgrade to these which is the nike zoom flies you know they're an actual running shoe they're made for running and i can definitely feel that under my feet other little accessories as well like these oakley running glasses these are super clean, block out the sun, block out the wind out your eyes, you know, if it's a dusty run. It's not getting in your eyes. And to be fair, I'm pretty sure these just these just, just make you go faster as well. Step number three is getting your running gear right. Tip number four, fueling up correctly. This is essential, right? I need to plan my meal out correctly before I go running. There's nothing worse for me personally than not having the right fuel to complete the task. It goes for the gym, it goes for running, it goes for any exercise in general. A lot of people like to do faster runs personally that's just not for me i need to get a bit of fuel in first maybe a pre-workout maybe banana and oats with a bit of honey sometimes it's toast with a bit of peanut butter uh, and jam just so you've got them you know you've got a bit of fast acting carbs selecting carbs also squares bars make sure you're taking on a lot of water especially
especially in these this hot time of year and that goes to sort of planning out your run as well you know make sure you're trying to avoid just try and avoid the middle of the day because it's so hot body isn't used to it it's going to make your run really difficult that's why i've come out this morning and made sure i've got it in early before it gets too hot or you can try it in the evening but yeah that's just a side note making sure to stay hydrated but fueling up your body is essential get that water intake in if you want on a long run you can buy stuff like gels as well. I see quite a lot of people on TikTok use that kind of stuff and that you're supposed to take like every 5K. You know, your body's exerting a lot of energy, probably more than you think when you're running. So yeah, tip number four, fuel up correctly. I'm gonna pop some nice meals on the screen here that I recommended for running. If you wanna take a screenshot of this so you can note it down later, just have some pre-running uh, meals. That's, that's cool with me. So tip number four is making sure you've got enough fuel on board. Tip number five, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a comment, drop a like. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the video. But yes, number five, what you've been waiting for is having an intention for your run. This is the game changer. This is the one that sort of changed running for me. I used to go out on every single run with no intention but to just run quick, run hard. Probably listening to too much David Goggins. They don't know me, son! Try and just absolutely beast it. And to be honest, after a period of time, I wasn't enjoying it because I was absolutely knackered after every run. I was out, I was going too hard. You know, if you're not setting an intention, you're not setting a pace for yourself, you're just gonna end up just blowing out. And that's what I used to do every single run. That's why I told everyone I hated running. And until I sort of discovered, you know, that sort of run slower to go quicker, run slower to go faster, that kind of stuff. It really changed it for me, having an intention for your run. So that could be, you know, you're doing a nice steady pace for a 5K, or you're doing a really slow 10K, or you're doing a quick 3K. You might be doing interval running. You might be doing a recovery run, which is a super slow pace, but just to get that blood flowing the next day after a long run. This is the kind of stuff that you need to be thinking about. So at the moment, I'm doing a, I'm doing like a three to a 5K, like twice a week, and then I'm doing a bit of interval training here and there. For me, it's working well. Well, I'm getting quicker. As I've said, this is the most important tip for me is having that intention. So in your head, when you're on that run, you know what you need to be doing. There's nothing worse than setting out too quick or going too slow and then coming off the back of the run, being disappointed. So if you could have it in your head before you start the run, look, today I'm going to run nice and slow. You know, you, you sort of got it in your head and then you're accountable for running slow. It's not like, it's not like you're just trying to cane every run or you might say, today I'm trying to do a 5K at a decent pace. 5K, I'm trying to get a PB. So you, you go and chase that PB then. You started to do your run with no intention and then you're really going to struggle. You're really going to struggle to keep up the consistency. And ultimately, you're not going, you're not going to enjoy it because you're going to come back from everyone disappointed. So set that intention out for, and then yeah, go and enjoy your run. There are my five key tips on how to start enjoy running. Number one is start off slow, making sure you've got the right pace. Number two is making sure that you plan your route and sure you factor all the hills, all that kind of stuff. Number three, getting the right gear, making sure you look sick for your run. Trust me, it just shaves time off. If you're feeling good, you're just going to run better. And number four is fueling up correctly, making sure you've got enough fluid in your body, make sure you've got the right energy if you like a fasted run carry on doing that if that works for you but personally it doesn't also get a bit of caffeine in as well It'll give you that quick little boost at the start of your run just to you know get your body going and number five is having an intention for your running whether it be a recovery run a pb run interval training that kind of stuff but make sure you've got that intention before you start off if not you're just gonna hate it with that being said go away and try these five tips come back to this video and let me know if you find them beneficial if you start to enjoy running off the back of this or if you just start running off the back of this that'd be sick to hear There's nothing more rewarding for me personally that you know being able to impact someone being able to impact yourself and then just hear that good feedback off the back of it whether it be look after these new running trainings i'm feeling good about myself or you know i've started to actually plan my roots out correctly and I'm, I'm shaving time off or i've really started to pick up running i'm losing weight all that kind of stuff yeah if you found this video beneficial and you want to see more videos like this make sure to drop a sub drop a comment let me know what you want to see whether that be gym stuff fitness stuff business stuff anything along those lines drop it below let me know what you want to see next and with that being said it's your boy msxul thank you for watching the video if you've made it to the end comment which was your favorite tip some of them are quite basic don't get me wrong i'm not gonna act like i've reinvented the wheel in this video but i'm just communicating what i've found best to you i'm gonna go and hit the gym now getting a nice shoulder and ab session because summer's coming up and you've got to get we've got to get ripped for summer so it's been your boy msxul i'll catch you in the next one